Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 1798. In this video, we want to see how to create a time series for stock prices. This is what we want to create. And we'll see the new school way, Microsoft 365 Excel, and the old school way. Now, Matthew Lopez says, I'm collecting OHLC data on stock prices on a four hour time frame. And he wants to automatically generate these for any given day. Well, the inputs to automatically generate these times, well, there's six rows, and we have to increment by four hours. So here's the row increment of six, and the hour increment, well, you could enter it as a proper time, which involves a colon, four, zero, zero, and enter. But any time you're going to create formulas based on times or dates, you need to know what's really going on. So I'm going to select this cell. And up in the number group, custom means it applied a custom time format. But I'm going to use the number format eraser general. And when you apply general number formatting to a cell, it actually wipes away all number formatting. And we can see what's actually in the cell. What? 0 0.1666 is 4 AM? Yes, that's because when you enter the whole number hour 4, behind the scenes, Excel says, I'm going to divide it by 24. That means when we enter time, it's the proportion of one 24-hour day. Now, you absolutely can leave it with a time number formatting, but I don't like to do that. And I'm going to remove the number formatting using the keyboard for the general number formatting, Control Shift, Grave Accent, or Tilde. And then I'm going to enter it like I usually do when I enter a time as a formula input. I'm going to say equals 4 divided by 24. Enter, enter, enter. Now with those two formula inputs, we're going to use a dynamic spilled array function called sequence. How many rows do we want in the spilled sequence of numbers? Six. Comma, we don't need columns, so comma to skip it. The start is going to be 0. That's because we want to start at 0, 0, comma. And the step, well, it's 4 hours. And that's our formula, close parentheses. Now this is a dynamic spilled array formula. So when I hit Enter, it spills the results into the cell. Notice up in the formula bar, all formulas below the top cell are grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell. Now we can highlight Control-1 to open up Format Cells, Number Tab, Time. And let's select Military Time, click OK. And there we have created a sequence of times. Now I actually didn't want this 0, 0 right there. I wanted it two cells down. So I'm going to point to the edge. And when I see my Move cursor, I'm going to move it down. And above it, I'm going to put the date. We're going to start with today's date. And there's a great keyboard in Excel for today's date, Control semicolon. Now I'm going to hit Enter. And I, I ultimately want to copy this to the side. So F2, this is a dynamic spilled array formula. And certainly to get it to spill down, we don't need to lock it. But we're going to copy this little template to the side. So I do want to lock this. So selecting G1, I'm going to hit the F4 key to put the dollar signs in. Same for G2, and Enter. Right here, we're going to type Price, Control-Enter. And I want borders all around this. So I'm going to use the keyboard Control asterisk to highlight the current region. Right click, and on the Mini Toolbar, All Borders. Top two cells, these are like our field names at the top. Right click. You can add the formatting you want. I'm going to add dark blue with font white. And I always add a color to indicate to the template user that this is a formula, not an input area. You certainly do not have to do this. The white area will be where we enter our stock data. Now the cool thing about this is when I highlight this whole thing, yes, the formula is going to copy. Price will be repeated every second column. But that date will automatically increment. So I simply drag it to the side, and bam, there's my template. Now, if you're going to do this old school, I'm going to put a 0 here, Enter. And then I'm going to build a formula that says previous time plus 
four hours. F4 to lock it. Control Enter. Copy it down. I forgot price here and enter. Now we can copy this over, old school style, and there's our template. Now here's your bonus. I'm going to highlight all of this, control C to copy, and I created a sheet that says period and in parentheses a one. Select cell F1, control V, adjust the column widths. I'm going to delete both of these, Alt-E-A-A. -A. That removes everything, formatting, and content. Start date. I'm going to steal this format up here. Right-click, Mini Toolbar, Paintbrush, click. And we'll put today's date, Control semicolon. Here equals that one right there. And just for fun, I'm going to select that cell. Hold, Control, click, click, and click. This is the active cell, and I want all of these selected cells to look one, two cells to the left. So in the active cell, I'm going to type an equal sign, click two cells to the left, plus one, control enter. That was just a fancy way to get two cells to the left plus one. So now we have, remember parentheses, number parentheses. So when you copy a sheet, and I'm not going to right click copy, that takes too long. I'm going to click, drag with my mouse up, Notice the black arrow. Notice the piece of paper. Now when I hold Control, the plus shows up. That means I'm copying the sheet. I move it, and when I see my black arrow on the right, you let go of your mouse, not the Control key. And when I let go of my mouse, it says period 2. I come up here, 8 slash 19, and Enter. And there's my new template. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.